If you are new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Moroccans. We started traveling part-time in our Thor Axis in August 2018. Mm -hmm. We loved it so much we sold our home in June 2020 and began full-time RVing. This video begins with us leaving our home state Florida and heading to Georgia. We visited three Georgia parks. Two were very nice and one was not exactly what we were hoping for mm -hmm. and we learned some valuable lessons. We are coming up on exit 439 on I-75 heading north. This is the exit we always took to our home in White Springs, which we no longer own. We have no regrets so far. So we have spent the last 25 days or so just finishing up some things in Florida, visiting some family, doctor's appointments, those kind of things. And now we're headed um, to Georgia. Um, and we're very excited about our adventures. We are still on I-75 and have driven this section of the interstate many times, but this is the first time we do not have to backtrack and return home. We're heading north to explore new places we have not been. Our first stop is Indian Springs State Park in Flovilla, Georgia. Hi everybody. We've been on our RVing with the Maracas adventure for a little over a month mm -hmm. since we moved into the RV. Yesterday, we made the big milestone of getting out of Florida. So we're in Georgia between Macon and Atlanta at Indian Spring Fall. Yep. Indian, Indian Springs. Sp Indian Springs State Park. Mm -hmm. It's pretty nice here. We unfortunately got in last night and it was raining, but we're cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it's a um, pretty nice park. See the nice lake here. We uh, rode our bikes down. We had to go to the uh, visitor center and it was mostly downhill so we're dreading going back up the hills we're not in Florida anymore good cardio on the way back yeah walk pushing your bike pushing up the my hill. bike up the hill but anyway it's been fun campsite was gravel and had nice trees surrounding it. We enjoyed biking to the creek and waterfall and visiting the other landmarks throughout the park. Indian Springs State Park is the oldest state park in Georgia. It is a natural artisan spring and has been used by generations of people for its flowing mineral water that some claim to have homeopathic qualities. The next stop in Georgia is Salicoa Creek Park in Ranger, Georgia for one night. We picked this spot because it was still hot and we wanted a site with an electric hookup. The drive to the park was scenic and going very well. We were off to a good start, but once we got to the park, our day started to go downhill, literally. We got to this intersection in the park and we could have chosen to go right or left. We even stopped the RV and discussed which way to turn. Joe was driving and I was giving directions. So we turned left. Well, that was the first mistake. Notice the cone, not helpful at all. We were headed right into someone's campsite. I had a feeling I should have gotten out of the RV and looked before we made the turn, but I didn't. Lesson learned. We stopped and of course could not just back up because we were pulling the car. Here we are at a steep slope and Joe had to get out and unhook the car. You can just imagine how much fun that was. We got the car off and backed it up. Then the challenge was backing up the RV. No problem with Joe's direction and my driving. Well, it gets worse. We drive over to our campsite and it's so unlevel that we didn't even try to level it with our leveling blocks. The park was older and not kept up as nice as I would have liked. It was a very uncomfortable night with being so unlevel. I felt like I was walking around in a fun house at a county fair all evening. Hi, we're at the uh, county park we stayed at last night. We had to move from the site we were in. It just felt like the RV was gonna fall over. I will attach our LevelMate Pro screenshot, but it was horrible. Um, and somehow they don't have any kind of description of any site, so I just picked one that was open. But um, it seems like we probably had about the worst site in the campground for levelness right where we're parked now there's actually two pull throughs that i would have been quite happy to park in one of 
they're not quite level, but compared to where we were, but you can see it's very hilly here. After visiting Walmart to stock up on supplies, we headed to Carter's Lake in northern Georgia and Woodwing Campground. As you can see from the video, the drive into the campground was very curvy and hilly. Our elevation was about 2,000 feet. Carter's Lake in Woodwing Campground is an Army Corps of Engineers project and is a lovely place to visit. We were on Site 1 and we loved it. The site was concrete with a wood deck that lined up right outside our door. Okay, everybody, we are at Carter's Lake Overlook and in Georgia. You can see the pretty mountains in the back. The lake is really pretty down there. There's a few boats down there, people having a good time. It's upper 80s, sunny. Good. Honestly, we don't even know how cold the water is. <laughs> no, we haven't been in the water. <laughs> We should have gone in. It's, we took some really nice long walks, but um, we just didn't get in the water. Yeah. Well, the only beach area is closed. COVID. Yeah. Well, this is Carter's Lake Dam. We took an afternoon to fly the drone. Enjoy the beautiful views of the lake and the park. Good morning everybody. Um, we're at Carter's Lake near Ella J, Georgia and we're on our last <laughs> not morning. Not very near. But. Not very near actually but um, close enough. We, this is our last day here at the park. Actually we're leaving tomorrow heading up to Tennessee and it's been a really nice visit. This is a really pretty park. It's very quiet. Um, we've been able to walk most mornings. Um, it's got some pretty steep hills, but other than that, it's been very nice walking. I yeah, think we've built indoors. Yeah, I think our cardio has improved quite a bit. I can't think of the only thing negative I think about the park is they really don't have washers and dryers, <laughs> and so that's why he was saying that Ella J is a little far away because I had to go there to do the laundry, and it was a 30-minute trip um, one way, so. But other than that, it is a very nice park. We're in the campground right now where tents are only, and there's nobody here. They have this park closed off. So, I'm good. Want to add anything else, Joe? Or? Well, one uh, other negative is there's really no beaches where you can swim. I mean, we're right here. It's We'd have to climb down these rocks. There's yeah. one small beach that's closed off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And people are swimming. I think the locals really know what to do here. And if you have a boat, it'd be really nice to be out on this lake and do some boating. So we're going to yeah, work on a our bunch of jet skis and boats. Oh yeah, you can kind of see them over there in the distance. Today's a moving day, so Rhonda's doing a thorough cleaning. It's She's already done the. She's already done the floors. 
pretty much everything. The wind, the inside, she was up on the dash. So, I've got the outside pretty well, well, as far as I can get. That rug thing's really wet. Tablecloth's wet. Got the bikes on the car. But we're fixing to leave Georgia after about three weeks here or two weeks or some amount yeah we're ready to go to Tennessee well that's it for this route we took to Georgia as we headed north on I-75 thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel